Hello everyone, good day. This is Andrew again and welcome to PLC Programming Training for Beginner Part 9. Now let's start. Exercise 1. Create a PLC program given the following conditions. You have two push buttons and one lamp. Lamp 1 will turn on if PB1 is pressed two times and PB2 is pressed three times. Lamp 1 will turn off if PB3 is pressed. Now let's have our demonstration. Let's press PB1 two times and let's press PB2 three times. One, two. Now let's press PB2. One, two, three. Now let's press PB3. And that's it. Now I want you to post this video and try to solve it by yourself. Then you can assume this video so that you can compare your answer to my answer. Okay, let's continue. Now let's press PB1 two times. One, two. Now let's press PB2 three times. One, two, three. Now let's press PB3. And by pressing PB3, C0 and C1 will be reset. And that's it. Now let's go to our next exercise. Create a PLC program given the following conditions. You have one push button and one lamp. If PB1 is pressed, lamp 1 will blink four times. Let's have our demonstration. Let's press PB1. Okay. Let's press PB1 again. Okay, that's it. I want you to post this video and try to solve it by yourself. Then after that, you can assume the video so that you can compare your answer to my answer. Okay, let's continue. Okay, let's have our program analysis. Let's press PB1. By pressing PB1, M0 here will turn on and M0 will not turn off unless normally close C0 here is activated. And because M0 here is on and T1 here is on, T0 will be activated after 1 second. And because T0 here is activated, Y0 will turn on. And that will cause lamp 1 to turn on. And because Y0 is activated here, the normally open contact of Y0 here will turn on. And that will increase the count value. And T1 will be activated after 1 second. And because T1 is activated, the normally closed contact of T1 here will be open. And that will cause T0 to turn off. And because of that, T1 will turn off and Y0 as well. And normally close T1 will go back to its initial state. And the cycle will repeat unless M0 here turns off. And the only way to turn it off is by activating C0, which is completing the count here. Okay, let's have our simulation. Okay, that's it. That's how we solve exercise 2. Now let's go to our next exercise. Exercise 3. Create a PLC program given the following conditions. You have two push buttons and one lamp. If PB1 is pressed, lamp 1 will blink three times. Then, lamp will remain on. The lamp will turn off after pressing PB2. 
now let's have our demonstration let's press pb1 okay and to turn it off we need to press pb2 now i want you to post this video and try to solve it by yourself then you can resume this video so that you can compare your answer to my answer okay let's continue this will be my answer to this exercise let's have our program analysis let's press pb1 and that will make m0 to turn on here and the only way to turn off m0 is by pressing pb2 and because m0 here is turned on that will cause T0 to turn on after 1 second. After 1 second, Y0 will turn on. And because Y0 is turned on, lamp 1 will turn on. And the contact of Y0 here will turn on also. And every time Y0 turns on, the count value increases. T1 here will activate after 1 second. And because T1 is activated, T0 will turn off and Y0 will turn off. And because T1 is off, normally close T1 will go back to its initial state. And that will cause T0 to turn on again and the cycle repeats. But if the set value is equivalent to count value, counter 0 will be activated. And that will cause the normally closed counter 0 here to turn off. And because of that, T1 will not be activated anymore. It means the cycle will stop. And Y0 will remain turned on. And the only way to turn off the lamp is by pressing PB2. Okay, now, let's have our demonstration. Now let's go to exercise 4. Create a PLC program given the following conditions. You have two push buttons and two lamps. If PB1 is pressed, lamp 1 will blink two times, then lamp 2 will turn on. Lamp 2 will turn off after pressing PB2. Now let's have our demonstration. Okay, that's it. Now, let's press PB2. Okay, that's it. Now, I want you to post this video and try to solve it by yourself. Then, after that, you can resume this video so that you can compare your answer to my answer. Okay, let's continue. This will be my answer for exercise 4. Let's have our analysis. Let's press PB1. By pressing PB1, M0 here will turn on, and the only way to turn it off is by pressing PB2. Now, M0 is turned on. That will cause T0 to turn on after 1 second. And because T0 is activated, Y0 will turn on. And because Y0 is turned on, lamp 1 will turn on. And... Normally, open contact of Y0 will turn on here, and T1 here will be activated after 1 second. And because T1 is activated, the normally closed T1 here will turn off. Now, because T1 here is off, the normally closed T1 here will go back to its initial state. And this will cause T0 to turn on again after 1 second. And the cycle repeats. Then after Y0 blinks 3 times, C0 will turn on, and when C0 turns on, the normally closed C0 here will turn off, and the normally open C0 will turn on, and that will cause Y1 to turn on. Okay, let's have our simulation. Let's press PB1.
Now let's press PB2. Okay, that's how we solve exercise 4. I hope you enjoy watching this video. And please wait for the next episode of our tutorial. And that's it. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please click the notification bell to notify you for new video. Please uh, like and share my YouTube videos. And please like my Facebook page, the Gizgon Mechatronics Engineering Skills Tips, Tricks, and Learning. And please click see first on Facebook to notify you for new posts. And uh, thank you again. See you next time.